Hey you guys, so this project is going to be Tibusa. And for that project you're going to need some flesh colored clay, then some white clay, some red clay, I'm using Indian red, and of course some pink clay. And I got this by mixing equal parts of one of the new rose quartz colors. I think it is called, I oh know it's called light pink, sorry, it's the number 205. And also a raspberry. And I think it was equal parts, but I'm not sure. Um, and if you want to get uh, the gem on her, oops, in her hair, you can either use red clay or if you have them, um, teeny tiny rhinestones which you're going to glue on after baking the tea. Okay, so uh, apart from that, you're going to need various tools. <clears throat> As for all the other Sailor Moon series chibis, you will need some dotting tools. So these are my favorites because there's this large ball tool or dotting tool end um, for making the indents of the eyes. Then there's the semi-pointy end and this small ball end. You might need a silicone brush like this, but a toothpick does the job just fine. Then a needle tool if you want to turn her into a um, charm. And some blades. I switch between these two. You will also need various acrylic paints, which I'm not gonna like enlist right now because you will see at the end of the video. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, you might need, if you don't want to like make her eyes in clay, uh, you will also need... Um, or I'm using this pen which is waterproof and very thin. Okay, I hope that was everything, so let's get started. For the head you want to start out with a conditioned ball of flesh colored clay and then make an indent for the forehead using one of your tools and also two indents down the sides to form a nose. Then you use your fingers to smooth everything out. Remember, a little goes a long way. You can also pinch the clay to make the nose more prominent. Then take a larger dotting tool and make two indents for the eyes. I decided to go with oval eye sockets because that's what the chibis look like on my pictures. Then take your needle tool and twisting and pushing at the same time drive through the head. So for the body there's like two different ways to uh, make it. You can either just um, use white because the neck of my chibis is not really visible or you can use the technique that I also used for the Shingeki no Kyojin chibis uh, which is making the body from two different colors. So here is a ball of flesh clay and a ball of white clay. And then just roll it between your palms to make teardrop shapes. Make sure that the teardrop shapes are small enough for the body and then cut each of them in half. Take the bottom half of the white ball and the top part of the flesh colored clay, stick them on top of each other and make the two colors bond. As I said on my chibis the neck is not really visible so I'm going to go with a plain white body. For the legs roll out two snakes and then cut them to the desired length. Roll it up onto balls, put two balls on top of each other to make the legs and then cut them off at an angle and attach them to the body. Slightly pinch them to make the boots. Then get out your needle tool and twisting and pushing at the same time drive through the body to pre-poke a hole. Then slide in your head pin, put the feet together and then bake the head and the body. Next get out a thin strip of white clay. I already have the script prepared so check out Sailor Moon's video if you want to know how to make this one. And then wrap that around the baked body and bond it. Then get out a two colored strip of clay and wrap it around like so, so that you can see her bodice or whatever it is called. Then get out a thin strip of pink clay and make two indents with the doll end of your blade. Wrap that strip around Chibiusa's arms to make her cuffs. Smooth everything out and then pinch the arm a little bit to make a little hand. Attach the two arms to the body and then we can go on to make the collar. For that, get out a triangle that you cut down to the center and attach it like so. Next up is the bow. 
So prepare a strip of red clay, cut it and smooth everything out like shown. Then pinch roll a ball of pink clay between two fingers, make an indent with the dull end of your blade and then squish that to make a teeny like little heart for the center of the bow. You want to apply the elongated triangle shapes first because that's the ribbon that dangles down from the bow. Then attach the bow and make sure that it's bonded. Also make one for the back side. Bake the body and then get out a thin sheet of pink clay for to use as hair. Wrap it around the baked head, cut up any excess clay and smooth out everything with your fingers. Take two tiny balls of flesh colored clay and bond them to the head. Make two indents with a dotting tool and connect those two with a line and then reshape the ear a little bit. Next cut out her bangs. Then texture them and apply them onto the head. I use my blending brush for that, but you can also use a toothpick. Then draw a line down the center of her head and make two indents for her ponytails. And then texture the hair towards those indents. For her pigtails, ponytails, whatever, Cut leaf shapes using a flexible blade. Texture those from both sides and then swirl them up. It depends on your preference how many uh, of those swirly thingies you want to use for each pigtail. Press them together at the top and attach them upside down and then bend them down. For the little buns, I pinch roll a ball of pink clay between two fingers from both sides to get a diamond-like shape. And then I cut this in half, apply it some texture and then put that onto the head. I also put um, two balls of white clay at the top. Texture it and then bake Chibiusa for one last time. After she has cooled, you can apply the paint for her eyes. Wait in between coats for the chibi to dry. I did not paint on any pupils just because I wanted her to have a dreamy look. Also glue on a gemstone or rhinestone um, on her buns for the decorations in her hair. So here is the finished character. I painted on the hem of her skirt using acrylic paints. And after your chibi has completely dried, you can go ahead and glaze it. I also added a little chain with beads on it to turn it into a necklace. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. Sharing would also be much appreciated. What other characters would you like me to make? Comment it down below or write me an email at kawaiipassionpw at gmail.com. Hope to see you again next time. Bye!